Hey, good morning everyone. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Happy Friday. It's going to be an overcast day today. 69 degrees right now, expecting a high of well, up around 92 again today. It's going to be another warm one. The tide's just making its way in here. Very bad internet connection this morning. So hopefully a lot of you will watch this on YouTube later today. Well, it'll be interesting to see if we had any more sea turtle crawls last night. It is sea turtle nesting season. Let's take a walk down the beach. See what we come across. I wish I had time to walk the entire beach. but I do the best I can. Let's see our friend Roy up the beach, sitting up there on his beach chair with his book. There's Roy right up there. Well, let's walk south for a little ways, see what we find. come across. There's something cool. There's a little sea turtle sand sculpture. These are pretty common once sea turtle nesting season begins. See all the little worm tips there, up by the neck. That's cool. Very appropriate for this time of year. As we have our female loggerhead sea turtles coming on shore nesting now. Pretty cloudy today here in Naples and Southwest Florida. Right now the temperatures are around 69, 68, 69 degrees. Again today expecting a high of up around 92 degrees. The waters. Nice and clear here this morning. Thankfully, it looks like the red tide has probably moved on. Finally, that red tide was horrible. There's an old, old whelk shell down here. Look at that. That's a really old one. It's all faded and gray. It's a very old lightning whelk shell. 
That is a really old one. Not a very big one either. It's cool looking though. I'm going to keep that one. Taking advantage of the low tide here to walk out on the sandbar. A lot of little fish right out in front of me. All right out in here. I don't know if you can see the water rippling there. A school of little bait fish. Boy, they're all over the place. I saw one just jump out of the water there. Something's chasing after him. Hope it doesn't chase after me. I'd sure like to see a dolphin this morning. Wouldn't that be fun? We haven't seen our dolphins in a while. They're here, just not when I'm here. Back on the beach here. As you can see, the water looks great. It's kind of hard to see when the sun's not up bright, but you can see the bottom there. This water's all about 18 inches deep right here. Nice and clear. See the sun's behind the clouds up there. It's gonna be pretty much cloudy all day today. Anyway, happy Friday everybody. Hope you had a good work week. Well, I don't see any signs of any new sea turtle crawls, any fresh tracks so far this morning. What's really interesting is that the sea turtles, they come back to nest on the beach where they were born. It's pretty neat how Mother Nature works. So anytime we find a sea turtle nest here, that, hat, that sea turtle is actually born here on this beach. And they come back year after year after year. And they can lay eggs several times throughout a nesting season. So that's kind of cool. They say the odds for a sea turtle surviving to adulthood are only one in a thousand. That's some pretty big odds. One in a thousand make it to adulthood. Hmm. 
far. Nothing's getting my attention here on the beach, shell-wise. I'm in area three right now. We've been having some, I've been having some problems with the connection here, the cellular connection, it fades in and out. So if the picture gets blurry, that's because of, there's a weak connection. It has nothing with, to do with the phone. So please refrain from commenting that the picture's blurry. There's nothing I can do about it. However, I do try to repost these videos on YouTube and they're a little higher quality. So if there's something you missed, I always post the link on Facebook and you can check it out on YouTube later today. And the videos then again, they're usually a little better quality on YouTube. There's a lot of little shells down here. There's like a little ridge line just loaded with shells, little broken shells. Probably some shark's teeth mixed in there. You just gotta get down there and sift through everything. This is area three that I'm in right now. The very north end of area three. There's a, big, a nice little cockle shell just washed up on the beach right at my feet as I was walking by. The cockle. can usually find some nice cockles here just about every day. We'll go say good morning, say hi to Roy in a little while here. I turn back around. I think I'll try to make my way down to the north end of area two here and then turn around. As you can see we've had some erosion down here as well. You can see that little ridge there. You can see it's like the beach is like layered. There's a little lip here and another big ridge there. Lost a lot of sand since since Hurricane Irma. Irma actually dumped sand on the beach and, and some storms afterwards and extreme high tides and low tides have washed it away again. quiet out here this morning. I see one person way down to the south and Roy up to the north. That's the only other people I see here so far this morning. Isn't that great? <laughs> Have the place to ourselves. Just us and the pelicans out here. There's a pelican. Let's see if I can zoom in on him, him or her, a little brown pelican. Just 
kind of paddling along there, looking for something, to, some innocent fish to swim by that it can scoop up. Maybe I can get a little closer. Come on, turn around there, bud. Brown pelican. They're pretty neat, the pelicans, when you see them fly by in a big formation. They've gotten the nickname of the Naples Air Force down here. Can you see them flying like that? He's moving along now. south here. We're in area three still. Started in area four. Walking south. Good morning. You can see the pelicans are just hanging offshore here. Just swimming just offshore. You gotta be careful at Area 3 Beach. These are old tree stumps that are sticking up out of the water. You gotta be really careful when you're walking along here. See, that one's just barely submerged. You can trip and really hurt yourself on those. Look at these guys out here. Guys and girls. The water's not very deep here. Maybe a couple feet. shadows from the trees here. There, this one's got his... Oop. Did he get something? Where'd he go? Got his beak down in the water. Yeah, he got a little something. There's a little seagull out there with that one. in the space there. Good morning. Yep. It's fun watching those guys swimming around. Saw a fish jump behind him. <laughs> I 
The other one's got looking for something there. The brown pelicans. Neat. Now, it's a little further south down the beach. Then I'll turn around and head back up towards Roy. No signs of any fresh sea turtle crawls. No new sea turtle crawls. Still a little early in the season. Well, actually, yes, I do think we have one up here. I see our rangers coming to mark a nest. So we do have one just ahead of me here. Awesome. Well, that's so cool. Good timing. I'll show you the tracks up here. Right at the end of the boardwalk. <laughs> you can see where the ranger is up there. Right at the end is where the... We have a new nest. That's fantastic. Here's the crawl tracks out here on the beach. This is where she crawled up from the water right here. Right here. She returned to the water all the way over here. Where's the return tracks? Her return tracks are not very deep. That's where she came back. See them leading up there? So, she started over here. Crawled up the beach here. She made her nest and laid her eggs right up there by the end of the boardwalk. And crawled back to the water over here. Let's see what number nest that is. Remember the other day I was telling you about a little squiggly line that you'd see on the return tracks if they laid their eggs? See that little squiggly line right there? That's a pretty good sign that she laid some eggs. You'll see that little squiggly line in between her footprints. See it right there, that little squiggly line? You look for that in the return tracks. Is awesome. What number is this? Number two. Number two, officially yeah. two. <laughs> well, it looks like she did a lot of digging, huh? Yeah. Or was it hard to find? Yeah, it was. It was <laughs> uh, we found it. She did a good job covering it up oh, and everything great. and camouflaging. At least so. it's not right in the middle of the end of the walkway. Yeah. <laughs> they choose some interesting spots. They do. <laughs> so. But they know what they're doing. Oh, yeah. That is awesome. Number two. <laughs> Were there any other crawls last night? Um, nope. No this other. This the only one. Well, so. at least it was a success. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. So there you go. We had one crawl last night and it was a success. So now we have two loggerhead sea turtle nests at Del Norwegians. Very cool. Well, let's head back up the beach. See our friend Roy. Oh, looks like a 
deceased ghost crab on the beach down there. What's left of a ghost crab. It's always exciting to see a new sea turtle nest. Season, nesting season is just beginning. It starts in May, so we'll have more and more crawls here as time goes on. We're in area three. The new nest is right at the end of the boardwalk at the north end of area two. Remember, don't tamper with the nests. You can take pictures and everything, but stay, don't touch them. Keep your distance. Well, there's a piece of what was one at one time a big lightning whelk. That would have been a big shell right there. Big lightning whelk. Very peaceful out here this morning. This Friday morning. The sun's starting to peek out from behind. See the sun breaking across the beach here. seen a lot of shells yet that I want to add to my collection. Really, I haven't seen any. Just the usual stuff this morning along the beach. A lot of clam shells, slipper shells, cockle shells, of course. We always see our find our cockles. Tide is on its way in here. I think we're about three hours away from high tide. There's part of a scallop shell, a broken scallop. Probably find some more shells as we get a little further north. Just a piece of a scallop. That's a great blue heron that just took off in front of me. Beautiful birds, the great blue herons. Well, they stand about between three and four foot tall when they stretch their neck. Beautiful birds. I'll see if I can get a little closer and get a and zoom in and get you a shot of it. 
You don't want to disturb the birds. You want to give them their space. Please don't let your kids throw rocks at them or shells. And please don't feed any of the wildlife here. That includes the birds, the birds, the raccoons. I don't know if I'll be able to zoom into that guy. That's a great blue heron there. Magnificent birds. Pelican in the background. It's in the shade, kind of hard to see. More of a silhouette. Some of our feathered friends there. more pelicans in the background. I'll see if I can get you a closer look at that big blue heron there, the great blue. They get up on the beach. Uh. It's really hard to walk along here. There's a lot of a lot of broken shells, a lot of stones. This is the area between area three and four. There's a lot of stuff out in the water. It's not the best part of the beach there, I don't think, in my opinion, between three and four. I like down either area one is nice. Area four is nice. Those are my favorites. Area one and four, and the south end of five. People are going to scare away the bird. Dang it. They're just going to scare that bird all the way up the beach. People just don't realize. You know, you got to look around you when you're walking. Pay attention to the wildlife. Fun to take beautiful pictures of all these animals here, these creatures. But you just got to give it a little space. Give them their space. They were here before us. This is their, their home, not ours. Nope, not going to do it. Yeah, they scared that great blue off. He's on his way up to the north end of the park. Darn it. We're getting close to where we started this morning. my way a little further north. We'll check in with Roy. Roy did get his PayPal account set up for those of you wanting to order his book. 
I hope everybody enjoys it. I think he rushed it. I'm just here to help him market his book. I'm not endorsing the book. I haven't even seen it, so I just heard a few things that are in it from my friend Sandy who was helping him type it out. She said it's it's interesting. It's got some good little stories in there, things that Roy and I have talked about on the beach is his tips. back up to area four beach. Looks like Scott and Linda up there. Water looks great though, nice and clear. Look at that. You see the bottom here? Beautiful. Let's get out on the sandbar here. Well, it's still semi low tide. And this, the water right out here is, oh, halfway up my knees, to my knees. And the dolphins actually swim in this shallow of water. It's amazing. And if you look at that dolphin video that I posted, that I shared yesterday, just amazing. He, he was swimming right up to the beach. He could actually, he was playing with the fish, but he was a snook. He was really just playing with it. A couple of times he just tried pushing it up onto the beach with his tail. It was amazing. That was definitely the neatest dolphin encounter that I've had here on the beach. Roy and I together shared that experience with something else. And speaking of snook, there's two snook right out here in front of me. I don't know if you can see them in the water there or not. It's hard to see underwater, but there's two snook. Hmm. Beautiful out here. That water is 83 degrees. Really nice, nice and warm. Again, nice and clear. The red tide has finally gone away. Really calm out here also today in the Gulf. Very calm. Overcast skies though. Could take a quick photo. Lots of little fish swimming around my by my feet. Little tiny things, just little minnows.
Well, there's one of our turkey wing shells. A beach walk isn't complete without showing you a turkey wing shell. It's a nice looking turkey wing, nice colors. Looks like a jewel box here. Or maybe a big kitten's paw. That might be a big kitten paw right there, a big kitten paw shell. Lots of little shells in area four. There's a little spiny jewel box. Little tiny one, half of one. See the little spines on it? Sometimes you can find them with really long spines. Spiny jewel box. And of course our slipper shell. Always have to show you a slipper. The slipper shell. See when you flip it over. Kind of looks like a little slipper. A little slipper shell. There's a top. Look at that. What is that? That is an old, look at that. Is that a really, really, really old moon shell? Shark eye shell, what is that? It's definitely old and worn. Wow, that's really cool. I'm gonna keep that, that's neat looking. And of course, our Florida fighting conch. Another common shell here. This is probably the most collected shell on the beach right here. The Florida fighting conch shell. There's another nice big slipper shell. You can see the different colors in the slipper shells. You really gotta walk slow and keep your eyes open with these little shells. Cause there's some real little treasures buried in here. But the more time you spend looking, the more you find. They just pop up out of nowhere. is down there. There's a mossy arc. See a lot of mossy arcs on the beach. The mossy arc shells. I haven't seen a lot of worm tips yet this morning. Loving the weather though. Gorgeous out here. Might be getting a little rain this weekend. Pretty good chance of rain on Mother's Day this Sunday. Really flat out there in the Gulf. Very, very calm. And here are Mosquito Control, one of the helicopters from Mosquito Control coming up the beach here. If he flies, he might fly right over us. He's coming right up along the coast here. I don't know if you can see his lights on there.
mosquito control helicopter. They spray all back in the wetlands. If they didn't do that, we would just be overrun by mosquitoes in the summertime here. What's up, Roy? Hey, Rob, how are you doing? I'm doing. How are you doing? Good, good, good. I was hoping I'd see you. Yep, I'm here. I'm going to mosey on up. Yesterday. Yep, I'm going to mosey on up to the end there. I'll be back. Good, good. I yep. got this PayPal. Thing yeah, I know that. Out. Somebody already sent me well, some. Well, yeah, how do you think PayPal? they found out about it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the address is, is paypal.me slant Roy Hazy. Yep. H A A S E. Yeah. So it worked out great. Yep. <laughs> That's what people were asking for. They wanted you to do that. And then I got a hold of a customer service at PayPal, which was nice, and she explained to me how to get the money out of PayPal and transfer it into my bank account. One click transfer. And I, and I accomplished <laughs> that. So, oh, it was more than one click. I'll tell you about a half a dozen clicks, but she ran me through it, and it worked huh. out good. Okay. Well, that's good. Yeah. Well, so, you don't. Need, you don't. You shouldn't be just doing it every time you get money in there. Well, I, I just wanted to practice yeah. how, how it works, so yeah. now I can let it accumulate. You know, after a well, million, I hope people, about a million dollars, and I can switch it I over. I hope people leave their address when they go go into yeah, PayPal. Yeah, yeah. The, the address was on my email. Yep. This lady, and with a with her address and a little message, very nice message. Perfect. And, so Perfect. it worked out really oh, good. Yeah. So I just printed that off the email, and that's how people. Yeah, that's and, how people are gonna. They they like doing so that. So it's paypal.me slant Roy Hazy H A A S E. Yep. Very good. All right, well, I'll come back in a little bit and check okay, in with you. So catch up. Actually, enough people have sent in money. I'm gonna go ahead with the printing. So I'm proceeding okay. with that. Well, so, hopefully everybody will be happy, so and there won't be on, any returns. We're on the road, <laughs> and I got a bunch of pictures I'm going to include. Oh, okay. So, and and some kind of interesting cartoons, kind of fun. Thing. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, be kind of some cartoons. humor, and also <laughs> you can't beat some humor. There you go. <laughs> no, the pictures so are great. They said they scan the pictures and they could go right in, so yep. that'll work out well too. Very good. So it'll, I think it'll be a well, fun, pictures. Fun yeah, that's that'll be a nice book. addition. The pictures. So it'll be a good deal. So it's, it's twenty bucks, everybody, if you want the book. <laughs> yeah. They got that part down. They know all about that. Well, there could be new people watching. They even got your PayPal account already. How about that? <laughs> so I'm learning a lot of new things in this whole process. And that's, there that's you go, learning that, how to use your computer and learn in the internet. Things. Yeah, <laughs> the whole publishing thing is, is quite interesting. There's a lot yeah. to it, and it works out quite well. Yep, I've worked in publishing for a long time. I'm sure you have, but I'm new to it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an yep. old engineer, not a publisher. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but I'm learning. <laughs> yeah. yep. You don't have to know everything about everything. Well, it, it helps when you kind of work at it, though. It yeah. makes life very interesting. It's, it's good to know a little about everything. It makes make life thrilling and interesting. There's always new things, and so you feel kind of alive and part of the whole scene if you learn something new all there the time. There you go. <laughs> well, that's good news. Every, every, there's a lot of people who are happy to hear the PayPal thing. Well, and you're going to have to figure out how to ship. Something new to me. There's a lot of people concerned how you're going to ship to Canada because that's expensive. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, once you ship out of the country, so you're well, going to have to figure out your shipping for I that. don't know if I got customers from Canada. Well, they're not ordering right now because they don't know how, how much it costs for the shipping. Oh, I'll do it no matter what it is. I'll send it to them. Well, I'll, I'll send it around the world. I'm sure they'll they'll help you out there if you let them know what it costs you. No, I, that, that's okay. I, I can honestly, it could be that much extra. Yeah. What the heck? Oh, we'll find out. So anybody so from the entire world, I'll send it to Antarctica or wherever they, wherever they are, Siberia. And, there you go. Yeah. Well, perfect. Any place in the world. Perfect. I think uh, extraterrestrial could be more difficult. Oh. What if it's within our universe? Ma Mars. Oh, as long as it's within our universe. I don't know. Do they speak English in Mars? I don't know. if they, Well, they have to have a translator. Yeah. 
Yeah, they'll figure it out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not going to, I don't have a translator though, everybody, and, and if, from Mars if you're yeah. listening in. <laughs> so it'll be in English. I, yeah. I think it's English. <laughs> yep. It's, is it the Queen's English? <laughs> King's English. King's, the King's English. Yeah. There you go. These flies are horrible. Yeah, aren't they though? Man. Yeah, you stop moving and the flies are all over you. Yeah, today. they do. I'm going to spray them, I think. Going to put your raid on? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hate to do it, but I think you've yeah. got to do it there. A bit much. I want to catch up to Scott and Linda there. Yeah, there isn't much wind today. That's nope. the problem. See any dolphins the past couple days? No, I haven't seen any at all. Darn Somebody it. saw dolphins. They saw manatee, but I really? haven't seen them. Hmm. Had another turtle nest last night. Really? Yep, down there, there's one. Well, there was the shortest crawl I've ever seen in my life. It's just down here a little bit. He crawled up about to here and went back down. When was that? Well, oh, today? Just, well, really? I, I just saw I don't it. think the ranger even saw that. She yeah. said we didn't have one. She yeah, said you, that was the only one. watch for it's just not too far down the All beach. All right, I'll go check that. I'll be back in about a little a bit. About a 20-foot crawl. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I'll be back in a little bit. I don't think we buried anything. Think of... Uh, Think of something good, some good advice for our friends today. Something that's not in the book. Oh, well, it's not in the book, but they, they can they can buy the book. No, that's get some advice. advice. <laughs> some advice that's not in the book. A bonus, a Facebook bonus. A Facebook bonus. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay. Nice to see I got to keep. Now. Yep, always a pleasure, Roy. I keep moving here. Lots of flies. I guess it must be the time for the flies to come out. Flies get really bad in Southwest Florida for a couple weeks. And then they move on. Just wanted to go up and see our friend Scott and Melinda. Then go back and chat with Roy a little more. And I got business I gotta take care of today. Roy's excited now that he's got his PayPal account set up. So anybody that was wondering about that, we have that now. Roy is set up with PayPal to take orders for his book. I think you're gonna enjoy it. It's not very big, but it's got some interesting stuff in there. Sandy, our friend Sandy said, once you pick it up and start reading, you can't put it down. And now he's gonna add some pictures to it, so that'll be interesting. There's an old lightning whelp shell. Oh, that's cool. The lightning whelp. Get a good look at the inside of the lightning whelp there. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's a great look at the inside. Great look at the inside of a lightning whelk shell. Uh. Roy said he saw a turtle crawl up here. I do not see it here. He said it was a little one. The ranger didn't even see it. So where are you two up to today? Anything good? <laughs> no. Find no. anything good? Try to, to stay ahead of you so we can get the good stuff. Oh, <laughs> that'll never happen. Right? This little tiny guy. I think it's a little tiny olive, but there's no point on him. But he's tiny, tiny. Yeah, I don't know what that. It looks kind of like a little olive shell. Yeah. Huh. Linda's keen eye this morning. There you go. The little ones. Exactly. That's it's always the little tried. ones. Little <laughs> yeah. The little ones, so. There's another turtle nest down there. Oh, oh it's another one came on shore. Yeah, last night. Oh well. Take them off. Down. Far up. You know where that ramp is at the north end of area two? Mm -hmm. Right it. 
right there, right at the end of the ramp. Oh, wow. <laughs> we'll take a walk up there and yep. So now we got two. Right. Roy said he saw crawl tracks up here somewhere. The ranger said we only had one last night, so I got to go see if what Roy was looking at. <laughs> you never know. All right. Uh, if it's there. You say it was just up ahead here. I'd have not seen it. Huh. I do not see the turtle tracks here. Let's see what he was talking about. Sometimes people, when they drag their coolers through the sand, it looks like turtle tracks on the beach. It's kind of funny. It throws you off when you see them. see the tracks. He said they were just up a ways. And sometimes they're not very deep. If they're young female tur sea turtles, they don't leave very deep impressions, especially if the sand's wet. seen a lot of seashells this morning on the beach. Anything collectible. Oh, there's a little. Looks like a little horse conch right there. That's neat. A little horse conch. As I said, I haven't found anything. And a little apple murex shell right next to it. That might be two murex shells. I can't tell what that little one is. That might be a little murex. Yeah, it is. That's two murex shells. That's a baby and a medium little small murex and a baby murex. Both apple murex shells side by side. Isn't that cool? Great little find. Scott and Linda are going to be very upset with me that I walked ahead of them and found those. Should I go back and rub it in? <laughs> They're gonna be mad when I show them these shells. If I find something nice, I'm gonna, the next shell, nice shell I find, I'm gonna give to them. Well, unless it's really nice, then I'm gonna keep it. Roy, Roy, Roy. I don't know what he was talking about. He said he saw some turtle tracks here. I do not see them. The light plays funny things here on the holes along the beach. Especially when you're looking for shells. I mean, you can walk up and down the beach and walk right by something, you'll come back an hour later same place and you'll find a really neat shell it's just the way the light hits it there's a little piece of worm rock over here i always like showing people worm rock especially newcomers all of you old timers here you've seen plenty of worm rock but there's a little piece of worm rock Pretty cool, you can see the worm tubes in there. Oh. 
Well, that would have been gorgeous. Piece of a little, a little tiny banded tulip shell. That would have been a gorgeous find right there. That's just the top of a little baby banded tulip shell. Wow. You need to walk out in the water too when you're shelling. There's a lot of nice shells just offshore. Occasionally I'll take a walk out in the water. This is the north end of the beach here at Del Norwegans. This is area five. Oh, wow. There's a big, there's a big slipper shell. The slipper shell. We've seen a lot of these on my beach walks. Turn it over. See how it looks like a little slipper? A slipper shell. got another shell stuck down in it. Area 5 Beach at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park up in North Naples, Florida. People always ask, they say, where are you at? I see comments, where are you at? Where is this? Just click on the little red live button and it'll tell you where I'm at. Here's an old whelk, an old lightning whelk. Boy, this one's really old and worn. That's an old lightning whelk there. Wow. Another Murex. Cool. There's another little Apple Murex. There's three Apple Murex shells this morning. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Three little Apple Murex. And there's a nice little olive shell. Ooh, that's a nice one. It's got the, a lot of times they don't have the tips on them. See the tip there on this olive? A lot of times the tip's broken off. That's a nice little olive shell right there. The olive shell. I'm walking by so many shells here. I mean, you're not going to find them all. <laughs> There's always something here. There's always shells here to find. Always shells to add to your collection. No matter how many people walk this beach, there's always something. You're going to find something. This isn't really one of our better shelling beaches. Marco Island's great for shelling. Sanibel Island. Del Nor Wiggins is nice. And just across Wiggins Pass, Benita Beach, that's nice. Any luck this morning? Just started. Just started. I'm lucky to be here. <laughs> Aren't we all lucky to be here? Absolutely. It is a true blessing to be able to come out and walk on this beach in the morning. Even if it's raining. It's still beautiful. Occasionally, occasionally you'll find Roy in, out here in a downpour, Roy and I, just walking the beach. As long as it's not lightning, it's fun. We always have it to the place to ourselves then, too. Well, here we are up at Wiggins Pass, the north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. Huh. Oh, the barge has made its way back into the past. They're dredging out the past. The past. Dredging out the past. Dredging the past. Hurricane Irma filled it all in. Wiggins Pass is always a nightmare. You never know how to navigate the channel. It's constantly changing with the currents. 
but the dredging barge is over there. You can see it's sticking up. I didn't see that turtle crawl that Roy was talking about. Gosh darn it. However, we did see one early in our beach walk, a successful crawl. So we have nest number two. Nest number two is in area two. <laughs> Pretty ironic. It's right at the end of the boardwalk at the north end of area two. Loggerhead sea turtle nest number two. So go check that out. Take a picture of it. Don't touch it against the law to tamper with the nests, the turtles, the eggs. And don't forget about our sea oats. Keep your hands off them too. Stay out of the sea oats. Keep your beach chairs out of them. Keep your kids out of them. There's the barge over there, the dredging barge. up here this morning. Kind of overcast here. they be second barge down the pass there. At least I think you can see it down in there. Right over there. That's looking east up the Coquihatchee. There's a good chance there's some dolphins over there. There's a bunch of birds flying around. There's a lot of fish. Usually when there's a lot of fish that means there might be a dolphin. Water swirling around, but no dolphins jumping over there yet. Hmm. Well, let's take a walk back down the beach and see Roy one last time. We're heading out. Friday. Pretty overcast. Sun's just popping in and out from behind the clouds. Nice big patch of beach up here at the north end of the park. The only thing is you can't go swimming up here. This is fishing only at the north end up in area five. No swimming up in area five. Great place to watch the fishermen though. Watch the fishermen, watch the boats. Listen to the dredging barge. <laughs> Beautiful sea oats. Sea oats are so gorgeous. Look at it, they're all in bloom now. Look at the plumes. Remember, stay out of the sea oats. They are protected. 
Aren't they beautiful? Just blowing in the wind. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. These were all, all of our sea oats were buried by Hurricane Irma. They just dumped tons of sand on the beach, buried all the sea oats. They're finally making a comeback. Thank goodness. These are very important. The sea oats play a vital role. They are what hold our beaches together. The root systems, that's what keeps the beaches from washing away, the dunes from washing away. So please, don't, de don't destroy the sea oats. Keep your kids out of them. Isn't that beautiful? Just beautiful. see we're having a little problem there with our connection very weak signal again up here that happens up at the north end hopefully it'll be recorded for viewing later there we go we're back our signal is really bad up here at the north end just gorgeous out here though Or look around Wiggins Pass. place to sit and watch the sunset right there. Mosquito control helicopter flying overhead. Water looks great today. No signs of any of that nasty old red tide. Beautiful, look how nice that water looks today. Nice and clear. I didn't, I left them all for you guys. Thank you. What you get? Nice oh, nice scallop. Nice yep, colors. those are so nice looking. I only stole three from you. <laughs> 
it's okay. It's three little mur oh, three little my murex. Favorite murexes too. And and that that one was two of them were together. Wow. That's all right. I'll get you. On sorry, that one. sorry. You didn't, <laughs> sorry, steal, not you didn't sorry. steal that murex. Oh, from me. nice. Is tiny, that a murex? I think so. It's it's just a tiny, murex? tiny baby. It looks like it from. It is. Side. Yeah. It looks when it looks like the keyhole. You know, with the opening, it kind of looks. Yep. It's got that keyhole look to it. Yep. The apple murex. I love those murex too, and you got me today. But that's okay. <laughs> I got you a horse conch. Oh, nice. For, but just the tip. Just Sorry. the tip. <laughs> well, Linda will enjoy that. Well, yeah, you know. <laughs> Some worm shells off here as well. Worm shells. I didn't see any worm shells today. Really? Yeah. Where I did you? find something weird. Olives are all over the place. See if I can find it. I hate trying to find stuff in your my pocket here. I got the same problem. You know that. I got this. I don't know if that was a moon shell or oh. what the heck that was at one point. That's weird. It's got some interesting textures on it. Whew. I have no idea what that is. You got me it's like almost that. petrified. Yeah. Like when I how I get oh. on a roller coaster. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, that's my favorite thing. I'm a roller coaster freak. <laughs> it used to be mine, but my back can't take it. Yeah, me. we're heading up. We're actually going up to Cedar Point up in Ohio in uh, the end of next month. That was a two hour drive for us. That was close oh, yeah. by fun. Yeah. yeah absolutely. That's a great park. You know, it is the best. Absolute Cedar best. Point rules. That's her favorite. My daughter, if she knew, she'd be going with you. She'd <laughs> meet you up there. Yeah. Oh, she'll take you coasters all day. Man. The taller, the faster, the better. Good for her. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I used to say. <laughs> yeah, me too. Ago. Did you find another turtle crawler? No, no never oh. saw it. Might have been some tracks from the Rangers ATV or something that, that he saw. Be. I did you see know. some down there that looked like yeah. ATV. You know, so. well, maybe I'll bump into you later today, huh? More than likely. You never know. All right. You never know where I might be. Well, seaweed. <laughs> yeah, something. No dolphins. You guys seen any dolphins lately? Not one since we've been here. Weird. I've seen them way, way out, but not up close to shore. So I can't say we're disappointed. I'm sure we'll see them. Oh, we're gonna see them, absolutely. <laughs> all right. Here. I'll see y'all later. I'll talk to you in a bit. Yeah, all right, Scott. Oh, we keep losing our signal on the live feed. Keeps getting really, really fuzzy. When the image gets Blurry, that's the connection. It has nothing to do with the camera being out of focus. Sprint has just been getting worse and worse with their service. I don't know what's going on. Well, our connection should have cleared up now. The picture should have got a little better. Hello, how are you? And we're just gonna walk back down the beach, back to where we started. And go see, say hi to Roy. See if he's got a little something for us, a little wisdom or some thoughts to share with us to get us through the weekend. Peaceful listening to the waves. I apologize for the bad connection. There's nothing I can do about that. And the picture goes blurry here. Here's a old worn out conch shell. They call these twisties. An old worn out Florida fighting conch.
there's a piece of a another just a piece of a tulip a banded tulip shell the side of a banded tulip shell later today I'll post a link in the description of this post to where you can watch a, a copy of this video on YouTube. The quality is a little bit better. So anything that you missed, you can check it out in there on that link. You'll see some ads, some little pop-up ads in the beginning, but nobody pays me to be out here doing this, so. If somebody happens to click on an ad, that's how I make a little bit of money on YouTube, but it's nothing. I mean, it's pennies a day, if that. But it all helps out. It all adds up. hard walking here. A lot of broken shells at my feet right here. Hmm. Well, you can see we have had a lot of beach erosion. That's pretty high there, that ledge. That is pretty high. Well, good news, if you just join us, we had one successful sea turtle crawl last night. We have another new sea turtle nest, another loggerhead sea turtle nest, nest number two here. That's good news. Hopefully we'll have a very an active season and we'll have some hatchlings. Last year, Hurricane Irma took her toll on our sea turtle nests, sad. We had a few hatchings, but not many. There's a nice little black scallop shell down here. Little black scallop. Nice looking little shells. Pretty common, the black scallops. There's another one right there. Step off into the water here just a little bit. Walk along the shoreline. Just... The water's nice and clear. Lots of little fish swimming along the shore this morning. Saw some snook earlier. Beautiful.
bit overcast today. It's supposed to be partly cloudy all day today. Expecting a high of around 92. Maybe another warm one. Piper over here. The water feels great. Every once in a while, you can find some really neat stuff in these little these little pools here. Haven't seen any sea stars lately. There's times where the beach is just covered with sea stars. Haven't seen any of those lately. Hopefully that darn red tide didn't kill them. Well, there's an interesting shell. What do you think when I pick it up? You think it's gonna have, there you go. It's a little chip, it's got a little hole in it. There's a shark eye, a moon shell. Cool. See how that was upside down? You could barely see it in the sand when it was upside down. A little shark eye or moon shell. Cool. Rinse the sand off it here. That's the keeper. It's still full of sand. Well, I'll add that to my collection of moon shells. I wasn't expecting to really find anything here on the way back this morning, but this goes to show you never know. Just got to keep your eyes open at all times. Ha, ow, chihuahua. Sharp shells here. Stepped on something sharp. Here's our old buddy Roy. Saw well, something bouncing around here. Darn it. Thought I might have saw a shark's tooth down here. And just the waves came along and washed it away. Darn it. Hmm. Oh well.
Oh, Roy getting his hugs over here on the beach. <laughs> Roy getting his hugs. <laughs> I'll be right back. It's a little snowy egret over here. Waiting for some unsuspecting fish to swim by. There's lots of little fish out there this morning. He's got something wrong with his head. Looks like he was in a fight. Missing all of his feathers on the top of his head. On his face. I don't know if you can see that. See the dark spot on the top of, just above his eyes? snowy egret with his little yellow feet. Oh. He's camera shy. I'm going to give you one more look up the beach here then I'm going to go talk to Roy. I just saw something jump out here. Some kind of fish. Not a lot of fish jumping around offshore here. Beautiful out here though, look at that water. So clear. Gorgeous. Just beautiful as we look up the beach. Absolutely incredible. Sorry about that, lost our connection there. Very sunny out here today, but it's all right. Well, let's mosey on over here and see what Roy's got to say. And it'll be time to head on out. Nice beach walk though this morning. Found a couple nice little shells. Of our volunteers walking by. Remember to check back later for the link to watch this video in a little better quality on YouTube. It takes a while for it to get processed and posted. Hey, how are you doing, Rob? Well, I'm doing there. What a glorious day in paradise, isn't it? Pretty much. I got something for everybody to think about. All right. I muse I'm... about it myself. And nobody has any answers, but it's it's certainly thrilling to think about because uh, it, the uh, the subject is available to anybody. All you got to do is open your eyes and look around. Okay. It's infinity. Infinity. <laughs> and that's something I can't comprehend. I, I don't think anybody can comprehend something that goes on endlessly and never ends. Right. And if it does end, what's on the other side of the wall? So what I think about at night, I go out and I look up at the stars and it's so 
mind-boggling, these stars yeah. that are millions and billions of light years away. That and light goes 186,000 miles every second. That's the speed of light, 186,000 miles a second. Mm. So you, all you got to do is figure out how many seconds are in a year. <laughs> and that's easy to figure out, but there's you multiply uh, 60, there's 60 seconds in a minute, and then you multiply that by, by 60, there's 60 minutes in an hour, then you multiply that by 24, because there's uh, there 24 hours in a day, and then you multiply that for 365, because that's the number of days in a year, there you go. and that gives you the number of seconds in a year. Then you multiply that by 365,000, and, and uh, that gives you the, a light year, the distance. That's, What's amazing really, is... And then you multiply that by a few million, because they're talking about millions of light years. Yep. So that's the kind of those stars. I mean, the, the, the light you're seeing, a lot of those stars aren't there now. Well, that could can, be. Can, they, I mean, they've gotten so old, that's what's hard to comprehend. Out. Yeah. It's well, taken so long for the light to travel here I know. It's that those stars, they're gone. And then some of those tiny stars that look to us just like a dot that glimmers. Those are galaxies. Our galaxies were billions of stars. They're all grouped together. Isn't that amazing? So this is something some people can muse about. All you got to do is go out at night and stand there and look up at On the a clear sky. night. And the more you look, the more you it's see. Unbelievable. I mean, the heavens just open up Unbelievable. When you stare. Isn't it? It is. Unbelievable. I mean, it's beautiful. And our star, our sun, which we certainly desperately need, is 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 one of the, the stars, yeah. and that's nice. And fortunately, we're orbiting the sun, which is pleasant. And while <laughs> so we're we orbiting, <laughs> we're we're twirling around on our own axis. And so <laughs> the whole thing is mind-boggling. Yeah. No infinity is. So that's my thought for the day. Is is I guess this all ties in astronomy. It's even like when you put two points on a line, there's always another point between those points. <laughs> Forever. There's, well, you can go, like, I, I'm not that interested in it, but you can go the other direction and get smaller and smaller and yeah, smaller. it's crazy. And you can get down to germs or whatever they are. They're so gosh darn small, they're, they call them black holes. There, there's a magnetism out of the black hole, so they know there's something in it, but they can't see it, it's so small. <laughs> <laughs> and then there, well, the black holes in space, too. That's yeah. the ones that are just... Yeah, that's what I mean, the black holes in space. And, Who knows where and they of go. Of course, they got, uh, what are they called? They aren't bacteria, but they're uh, something that's so teeny they can't see those guys. Oh, they're, yeah. they're lurking around. The microorganisms yeah. and things, yeah. Something. They're lurking, so oh, you, know, yeah. you can go up, you can go down. Well, the whole <laughs> thing is, I, I'm more interested in going up than down. But. <laughs> yeah, I think we all want to go up. <laughs> but people got those big microscopes and they're looking at things and it's particles. It's amazing. <laughs> I mean, every day they discover something. Yeah. Well, there was something in my, or... my engineering I get from the University of Michigan where I went to college. I get a um, uh, magazine every now and then from the university, and that, that's kind of nice. They said that to me. And this last one was really interesting. They've determined some tiny little dots that seem to live, live for, forever. Long ones are long. They forever? live much, much longer than the previous little protons or whatever they call huh. them. So they're investigating those to see if the longevity of those teeny little particles would tie into our own longevity, that they're, they're doing something that's, uh, <laughs> that we wow. could do that would let us live longer. So there's always some research on that whole end of things So this too. living to 100 just might be a, a farce. You might live to 200, huh? Or 1,000, who a knows? 1,000, <laughs> forever, <say> it. <laughs> for eternity. <laughs> I don't know if my uh, my social security would. <laughs> you think it'll run out? <laughs> it could run a couple hundred could years. Run out. The United States <laughs> could be kaput. Who knows? <laughs> oh gosh. There's Scott and Linda coming up, oh, coming yeah. up the beach. Uh, uh. So there's oh, what, a lot of interesting oh, things to think about. He found about. something. You saved, you saved me one murex. All oh, right. Looks like a good one. Found him. Okay. Yeah, I figured you a dropped it out of your pocket. Oh, that is the I put that on the beach for you. Uh huh. Thanks. Boy, that is a nice. That's a nice Murex. It was a Murex kind of morning. Oh, look at that guy. Yeah. Yeah. A bunch of little ones. 
Well, thank you. You left one for me when I was walking back. Old ones. Old ones. See if I can find it. Uh -oh. I like the old ones. You, you missed you miss, you miss the moon shell on the beach this morning. When I was coming back, I got a moon shell that isn't this big. A whole one. Just really? a tiny little baby. A baby. You know I can't find it. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> we don't have to you want to trade me tulips? <laughs> ah, no, that's all right. You can have that too. Right. That's an old tulip. Boy, it's seen better days. Sure has. Wow. Inside of them. A tulip shell, Roy. How about you that? can tiptoe through the tulips. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Remember that you crazy song? The tulip. Remember that silly guy? <laughs> Tiny Tim. <laughs> With his ukulele. Go through the tulips today. Oh. What a good voice. oh gosh. Uh, so Linda's got you all set up on PayPal. Yeah, I got the PayPal. All right. Yep. So has PayPal taken a on that, that's for sure. When that when that lady when that lady paid you yesterday, did they take a cut out of that or did she just send you the money? No, no, I didn't know the whole twenty yeah. bucks. Okay. Just, as long as they just send you the money. You know, transfer it don't over. pay for a service or whatever well they, they had they, that was the tricky part they had two sections one one it said 25 cents and the other said free and i that's why i didn't well know that's what to do if you want the money instantly or if you want well, to wait a no, day the 25 cents was if you wanted the money put into your debit card instantly it goes instantly well the other, the other way it, instant too. it takes a couple of minutes <laughs> well, it depends sometimes it'll take till the end of the day to drop yeah. into your account so so the other one was free and that goes into the bank perfect well that's good so it's a tricky there you go. little Old money deal, bag. But it seemed to work. You better you better send those books out, not be pocketing that money. Well, I did, <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm proceeding with the printing now. Okay. And the gal's typing it up, and then she's she's going to do digital typing, and then that's going to be zipped to the printer, and he's going to brip it out. So, but she's still typing it up. That'll take I don't know. Who's that another, doing another that now? Week or Sandy's something. not doing that anymore. Sandy's doing it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's doing a good job. Okay. But she's got other work to do too, so she can't just Yeah, she just got a new job. Time, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she said she She's working at a place called The Find. It's, oh. a, it's a like a consignment furniture store here in, down in North Naples, just south of Pine Ridge Road. Oh, really? Yeah. You get some great deals in there. Uh-huh. If you're looking for furniture, good. I mean, that's the one thing about Naples. You go in these consignment places and you find beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. I mean, all these people with money. They change their furniture out every couple of years. Huh. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, so you get, you save, you know, probably 90%. Well, what do you mean consignment? You mean the people are leaving it there and then it sells, they get the money or yep, something? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep. Huh. Whereas the Goodwill, you just drop your stuff off and they sell it. Yeah. The consignment stores, they give you the money when they sell it. Oh, how nice. Yeah, well, that's an idea. And the church stores, too. There's a lot of those church stores around here. Huh. They got great deals. Yeah, great deal. Even clothes. <laughs> Just don't buy underwear there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's good. Well, so everything's going good, and it's beautiful down here. The old sun coming it is up. It's beautiful. It's, yeah. The sun's making a little appearance right now, peeking out. Yeah. What well, time? Jenny's gonna be down later what on. What time is it? Take a swim. So well, Jennifer's coming out again. Yeah, nine thirty. It's nine thirty already. Yeah. Wow. How about that, sports fans. There you go. It's 9.30 here. What time is it where you're watching from? And I figured my finished my book about going down the Amazon River oh, all 4,000 miles of the ocean. That was quite interesting. Well, you went got through that pretty quick. Yeah, and now I'm reading about building the Panama Canal, and that's sure interesting. So Now, that was the book you got as a gift, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. That was just, from, I forget what his name was. Um, yeah, the guy yeah. gave it to me. Yeah, so. yeah. that was awful. That I, was I nice like of him. I like these books about the early achievements. of quite, quite thrilling. Going. I wish I was the engineer on the job. <laughs> We've been done a lot better, and we'd still own it probably. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, I can't believe that, but it uh, makes me so unhappy. I don't even want to get into it. <laughs> I, I, I'm curious to, to why. I don't know why it happened. Whether our lease ran out on the land or what? What happened? I have no yeah. idea. Maybe somebody knows if they can tell me. Hmm. All right. Well. Infinity. That was your word for the day, infinity.
Yeah, looking up at the stars and musing about the whole universe. Because yeah. there's no answers to it, but it, it's uh, we're here. We are and we're here. part of it, and uh, and it's interesting to to know how big it is and what it's all about and why we're here and what we should be doing while we're here. <laughs> there you go. Well, you gonna is the farmers market gone now for the winter, the summer? I think so. I'm, I up. haven't been going. Oh yeah. So. I guess today was the where day. Where are you getting your Where are you getting your fruits and vegetables and salmon? Oh, and... I get it from Trader Joe's, and that's kind of a good spot. Yeah. And you ever so, go to Whole Foods? Uh, I I used to. Yeah, Whole Foods kind is sure expensive. great. Yeah, but they got about everything. Yeah. So, a lot of good spots to go. Public is good. Trader Joe's, Walmart's got a lot of good stuff. Yeah. So, you just got to know what you're shopping for. Yeah. We're well taken care of. We it's are. All, We're not going to starve here. It's all available and in great form, and uh, it isn't too expensive, so yeah. life is great. Something that we just take for granted, being able to walk into a grocery store. Yeah, and the want. food is all there. I, I don't take it for granted. I appreciate it because I, I, mean, I read about other poor people that are starving and don't have any food or... You know, and they're yeah. sick and starving, and we're so lucky we're and, I mean, healthy our, and happy here. Our, our grocery stores throw food yeah. out. Well, just, well fed, and, and uh, we got good health, and we're just so blessed, I'll tell you. We are. We're, our country is blessed. Yeah, isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're fortunate to be here. You got that right. All of us emigrated from someplace other than the Indians, or yeah. our original population, but... Uh, we all come from, came from somewhere, and I appreciate my great grandparents having the courage and the to come on over from the old country. Come here. And... I don't know where where are yours from, Rob. Oh, you look like an Englishman to me. Yeah, I don't know where they're from. <laughs> they're from all around the world. <laughs> a little German, a little Polish. I suppose. Yep, a little German, a little Polish, even a little Dutch. <laughs> they're a little mix of everything. So, imagine so. That's what America is. It's the melting pot. Yeah, that's right. So, well, all right, we got a glorious country, I'll tell you. So how are you doing on hugs this morning? Oh, yeah, I've I guess some got, good so hugs, got a couple, yeah. So. Yeah, good hugs. Well, that's always a delight. It's always a delight. Yeah, Carol gave me a good hug, but it's her last morning. She's shoving oh, off really? from Minnesota. Won't be back till October. Uh -oh. A lot of people are leaving. Yep. You and I are going to be the last of the Mohicans we down will here be. on the beach. Well, Scott and Linda are, have, are living here now full time. So. Yeah, they moved down. I don't know if they found And also the house Tom, Tom and Karen, they're going to be here soon. Yeah. They bought Barbara the Grove's old, old a house. Oh, they did. Yeah, yeah that's so right. They'll yeah. be out here now yeah. once they get settled in. Yeah, that's right. So we got so, some yep. four good transplants are moving yeah. in. So I love it. That's great. Well, you know, summers are great down here. I mean, it isn't actually summer isn't too much different than right now, and we got good sun, so we can take yep. nice long swims. And yep. if you sit in the shade, there's usually some breeze. It isn't too hot. And there you go. So summer's great. There you go. We're going to be more people are going to be coming down because of that statement. <laughs> are you well, working I just for the chamber? Want to let everybody know if you want to move down, why it's nice all year round. Yep. I mean, winter's great, summer's great, what the heck. Come it's check just... out North Naples. Yeah. Great little neighborhood, Naples Park. Can't beat it. You know, close to everything now. Yeah, five minutes from this fantastic yeah. park. It's the last affordable property this close to the beach, that close to the beach. <laughs> Did you see the dredge as you get up there? Yeah. They're they're eating in a barefoot. Did you notice that? Oh, are they? Yeah, these turned f facing barefoot, and, and they're uh, dredging there. Huh. I don't know why, but... Uh, uh, that was kind of coming I don't know. Out. The pilot boat, the pusher boat's headed out there. I don't know where he's going now. Yeah. Oh, he must be moving one of the, the end of that line. Yeah, that goes for I don't know where they're putting all the sand. I don't know, but People are asking out to that, that big uh, that barge, yeah, barge whatever. there, and then it keeps going on that hole. I don't know where they're dumping it. It doesn't seem like they're dumping it very far away. Well, this morning when the, when the dread was running, there was a whole lot of water gushing out of the backside of right. that barge, so it wasn't going in the hose. I don't know huh. what they were doing with it, but it's oh, well. dumping it right there.
All right, well, I got to get rolling along here. It'd be nice to know what they're, how they're doing everything, but nobody seems to know. Well, you should know. swim out to the barge and yeah, get climb the, aboard get, and find out. Get the picture from them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they'd appreciate that. You probably get sucked up in the hose. <laughs> I get another ticket for swimming in unauthorized waters. Oh, uh, it's been a long time since that happened, so <laughs> you're due. You're due for a little more excitement. Yeah, well, life is glorious. The water's getting pretty nice for swimming. We've been swimming out here to the sandbar. And it's yeah. getting pretty good. Yep. Well, hopefully you'll see these dolphins. The dolphins will make an appearance. I haven't seen dolphins in a coon I don't know ages. if these dredges scared them away or what. Well, somebody said they saw a couple the other day. And oh, okay. saw a manatee, and I haven't seen a manatee either. Well, that's but good. I saw him the morning. That's good. I saw good. him sliding by. Well, at least they're out there. It's good yeah. to know they're still out there. They raise their head and look at you with a little eye, and the poop head goes back down. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, the steel manatee is still there, so that's good. Yeah, I couldn't see him. The tide wasn't quite low enough, but he's usually around. All right, well, I got to get rolling. It's good seeing you again. How's, how's right. everything going on your whole uh, okay. Facebook? You, you, you had some work? You said, yep, it's good. What, what is that thing? No, you're busy. No, I just got other projects I'm working on. Well, here, what so. project is that? Can well, you tell me, or is it confidential? Well, just, I don't know. I've got several of them. Still working on an audio book. Uh, oh, some videos for the zoo, some more videos for the zoo. Yeah, what, what's the audio book? What's that all about? Uh, it's about dying. What, dying? It's about dying. Yeah. Dying? You say? Yeah, dying. It's about, you know, the, how to deal with people that are dying when it's, uh, when it's time to pull the plug, making the decision to pull the plug. Whether or not to use a feeding tube. And well, that's kind of that's, 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 yeah, that's when, to, when, to put, when to put somebody in hospice. And, kind of an unfortunate subject. You had yeah. to make a book about that. It's just part of life. It's a guy's experiences as a he was a chaplain and. Oh, I see. It's somebody yeah, experienced. So, but, oh, he's, I can but, he's, that. but he oh, gives. I see. People ask you know people ask him what should I do you know so he's sharing all of his stories about. Yeah. Well, it's up to you, you know. You do what you what you think is right. <laughs> yeah, that's a tricky deal, isn't it? That's a kind of it is. ties in a spirituality, all right. A lot. Yeah. 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 If you believe in a creator, a lot, some people don't. Yeah. You know, if if somebody's on some life source thing, and uh, if you do pull the plug, the person that pulls it, that's a big responsibility. Yep. I mean, I wouldn't want to pull any plugs because you're the one that's ending that life. Well, you're not. You're not ending a life if it's on a machine. Yeah, but you stopped the machine. Yeah. That's a tricky psychological God didn't, thing. You weren't born with a machine attached to you. <laughs> so you're not really alive. At least that's my belief. If, that's, if the sole reason you're alive is because of the machine, yeah, well, we yeah. use now machines for about everything. We use a machine to, to transport us around pretty much, and machine to... You missed the hug there, Roy. I, I, I noticed that walking by. A nice, you could have got lady. a good hug there. Very attractive lady. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, we use machines for everything. So even a machine to keep you alive. But that's a tricky psychological question. I wouldn't want to be... be it. Ooh. I wouldn't want to have to solve that question. Yeah, he's got a mouthful. Of course, doctors, you know, they, that's their kind of doctors. That's their department. They, yep. they keep people alive with, with the chemicals and, and, uh, and machines and all that sort of thing. Yep, it's a tough decision. Tough yeah. decision yeah. to let somebody go. I have tremendous respect for the medical field. Just tremendous. They work their rears off and they... You need an unbelievable amount of education, experience, and uh, yeah. and the responsibility is it's just tremendous, and uh, and they, they they do a great job. I'm very impressed with all doctors and the whole medical. There you go. And the research to determine these these chemicals, like uh, like they they immunize you with these with these shots. And to, to figure that out, my goodness, think of the research a scientist oh, yeah. working on that sort of thing. Yeah. 
Well, that's it's, another I mean, big amazing. thing in life that, that we're, that we're uh, available to us is all yeah. this. I mean, and you just said you have seen so many changes. I mean, advancements in 93 years. I mean, it's amazing. I can't, I mean, the things you've seen in your lifetime. Yeah, really things have just, changed quite a bit, but you know, I mean, you're 33 years older than me. I'll but tell you something though, basically, basically everything is pretty much the same. I mean, sure, there have been some improvements in, in various devices and chemicals and machinery, but it's, uh, life is the same regardless. I am like it's the same from a thousand, ten thousand years ago. Or, you know, wow. Well. You know what I mean? It, it hasn't... Basically. Other, other than the, the, the machinery and the chemicals that Basically. people I mean, are we using. Have, we have a lot more comforts now well, than yeah, we sure. had back in those days. Sure, more comforts and more more machinery taking care of us but uh, and more chemicals that uh, keep us healthy. But but life is, is the same other than these uh, more, more comforts. Yeah. I suppose life is life. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, we're privy to research about our diet and all that kind of stuff, which is nice. Well, most of that is kind of trial and error that people discovered over the years. Yeah, I guess. We still, yeah. Hundreds of years from now, they'll know a few things we don't know now, but still life would be the same. Well, we still die. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're, you're born, you're, you're, yeah. you have you're some trade that you, yeah. you work at and you reproduce and, and you enjoy the journey and... You know, you have have uh, uh, glory and, and um, unfortunate situations, and and pretty soon, I guess you plop in. <laughs> yep. Not Eventually. looking forward to that because I enjoy the journey too much. There you go. But you know, I you guess never know. nobody seems to live forever. Not yet, anyway. One of these days. Except you and me. We're there you in, go. We're trucking on forever. We'll be out here at the beach forever. Yeah, right. All right. I got to get going. I'm running Why late here. We solved all the world problems. Yes, we did. Thank you, Roy. <laughs> Thank you. Check your, be sure to check your PayPal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. All right. All these darn Good flies. Day. Yep, tally-ho. Tally-ho. All right. Give you one more quick look around the beach here. And then... I got to get out of here. It's been a long morning. Nice little beach walk today. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure to tell all your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time to check out all of my photos and videos here. Check out Roy's new book. Hey, have a great day. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.